Hello everyone. In this video, you will watch complete tour of Jurong Bird Park, Singapore. All the details like how to reach, what to see have been described. So keep watching till the end. together now. Are we all ready for this? Yeah. All right, much better. With that, everyone, turn your heads and look right back there. Let's welcome Satria, making his way out, and in comes the snake. He's making a big turn, going for it. Look at that cat. Excellent, Hansing. How about give him a round of applause, everyone? Thank you. four years old. That's right. It takes about five to six years for the feathers on his head all the way down to his belly to turn completely white in color. And the name of the white belly is Sea Eagle. How about we drop one for him, everyone? From the tip of Canada all the way down to the tip of South America. They are the most numerous vulture species in the world, numbering way over 10 million in the wild. They are able to smell out food by flying low, it means they have picked up the stench of rotting meat. So big birds like king vultures, which lack this unique ability, will follow the turkey vultures lead. 
and it will be the job of the 30 vultures, or I mean the bigger vultures, to tap open the carcasses. Because 30 vultures beats are not strong enough to do the job. So, Titan, thank you very much. But then it's time to head back to John. Come on, he's waiting for you. How about a big round of applause for him, everyone? Our 30 vultures. What do owls mainly hunt for at night? Anyone knows? Mice, that's right! Mice and rats! Rodents come out at night. The rodents have an acute sense of hearing. So the owl have to be very quiet in order to catch their prey without making any sound at all. That is why they are also known as the silent hunters of the night. These two birds are special because they were hatched and raised right here in the Jerome Bird Park. Balam is already nine years old. Now take a look at Adric right there. Oh, this is a really beautiful flight to John. Now does anyone like to guess Adric's age? Five, that's right. He's five years old. Still very young, but already fully grown. Yes, if you're ready then everyone else, let's welcome Rado! Making his way and look at that snatch. That was impressive, Rado. Well done. But you know what? We are going to do this once more. So another piece of food. And Rado, whenever you are ready, it's all yours. Can he get it twice in a row? Yes, he can. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing five high throws up into the air. And let's see how many of those throws can the birds catch. But before that, we need everyone's help for this. We need everyone to count out loud together with me. Is that all right? Yes or no? Okay. Let me just get ready first, and here we go! One, that was a good start. How about you? Two, awesome catch there. And from the side, impressive. Three, here we go, doing good so far. Four, excellent. All right, for the last throw, I'm gonna move a bit more to the back. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try to target the one sitting on the tree. Okay, there's one right at the back. Oh, here it comes, and can you get it? Look at that catch! I will give them a round of applause. Let's welcome Abel! Breaking the way out already, and wait for it, wait for it, out! Perfect, nice job! Big round of applause for everyone, thank you. Good morning, Zero. Good morning, Zero. The Southern Karakara can be found in South America and right now he will be demonstrating to us his natural behaviour. Look at that, that was a really fast one. Let's move on to the next item. Look happily at him. Wow, he swept the leaves easily. Now these birds are able to open the rocks, paddles, leaves and even tree bark in search of food like worms and insects. I'm going to place the tree bark right here. Let's see what he's going to do with it. Oh, that was easy for him. But what happens if the insects have ended up in various parts of Asia? The Genghis happens to be one of them. He was found weak and dehydrated along the shopping district right here in Singapore. We rescued him and nursed him back to good health. After all, he is a survivor. Genghis, thank you very much for coming out here. Yeah? How about we round applause for him, everyone? Out here, and let me introduce you to them. So starting with the small grey ones. Now, those are the white fat vultures. And the big brown ones are the cinereous vultures. Now, the white fat vultures can be found in Africa, while the cinereous vultures can also be found in Europe and Asia. Now, these birds are very important to the environment because they help to reduce the spread of contagious diseases by feeding on carcasses. That is why they are also known as nature's clean-up crew. But unfortunately, some of them are rapidly declining in the wild.
This is Ippy. Ippy is making his debut as our new Go Green for Wildlife Ambassador. Now he's so environmentally conscious that he only uses reusable utensils and containers. Imagine if you are a drink seller. Okay, drink seller. There you all go. Right. Hmm. And you were to give him a disposable plastic cup like all drink sellers do. Ippy will return you the cup. Okay, disposable plastic cup. Let me see. Like this? Oh. Exactly like this one. Watch this, everyone. Ippy, disposable plastic cup over there. What do you do? And he returns it back to me. Good job, Ippy. Very good, Ippy. Now, this time, you want to give him a reusable cup, but with a disposable plastic straw. Okay, Ippy see. is so smart. He will return you the plastic straw. All right, let's see. Uh, just like this one. Oh. Very good. Just like this one, everyone. Watch this. Ippy, what do you do when you see a uh, disposable plastic straw like that? He picks up the straw, right? And he returns it back to me as well. Good job, Ippy. Now, Ippy is going to show everyone how he drinks from a reusable cup. Watch this.
Malaysia is also a great pride home village in the world. The male will look for food for the female, and this will go on for about three to four months until their eggs are hatched. And then the mother and child will leave their nest. Here in the Jerome Bird Park, we have been successful in breeding oriental pied hornbills using nest boxes just like these. By making sure we practice the four R's. Reuse, reduce, recycle, and most importantly, replant. I will destroy. And off goes Vega. There you go, beautiful flights by Kaya and Vega. Each okay, since so like the birds are ready, volunteers are ready, ready and go. Supermodels of the world that give it up. 